What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, your man's toxic Back at it with another video. And yesterday, I ch checked out the new Netflix movie, Spaceman. And I'm bringing a review here today. But before we get to the actual beginning of the video itself, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Because number one, it's absolutely free. And number two, we're on the road to 700 subscribers. Just, uh, uh, 88, no, 87 away now, really. How about you, boy, if you did subscribe? Also, if you missed my previous toxic reviews I've done in the past, they're going to post on my YouTube channel. If you'd like to check that out, also don't forget to like the video as well, because I know that you do like my toxic reviews, and I'll put the YouTube algorithm recommend the video more to more people, and then they could join the toxic uh, but with that being in, also do feel free to comment your thoughts on Spaceman down below. But before we get into actual review itself, let's give a quick plot synopsis, shall we? So transition on shores. Ow. Judico Prochaska was raised by his grandparents in the Czech countryside after being abandoned as a young boy. He works as a scientist before trying to become the Czech Republic's first astronaut. All right, so going into this one, I ha didn't watch the trailer. I just heard uh, Adam Sandler is in space, and there's a sp spider that talks to him on board. And I just watched reviews, basically, and the only review I started watching was Austin Burke. And uh, I was intrigued by this one because Adam Sandler was doing something a little bit different. He hasn't done really any sci-fi movies before. And... Uh, watched it yesterday and let's just get to the actual review itself uh so starting off with the good we have adam sandler's performance do i need to say anything adam sandler's an amazing actor and especially here playing this lonely space that man. loneliness happens he grow that and the spider comes into the ship or we don't even know if it's imaginary or real or whatever um that kind of helps with his loneliness in here and um i haven't seen much of his dramatic performances i've always seen like him as the comedy guy i've only seen most of his comedy movies and this was like his first dramatic uh performance i've seen him play and i thought he was great in here um uh, almost all the acting in here i thought was great honestly um and then with Adam Sandler's performance, we move on to, I think, probably the standout besides Adam Sandler, and that is Paul Dano as Harush, which is the talking spider. Which I believe this is Paul Dano's first voice acting role, and he does a great job of being both m creepy and also sympathetic at the same exact time playing this creepy spider also making you theorize about him in the process where did he come from and so forth and throughout the movie you're wondering is he gonna turn on him is he even real or whatever and um paul dano just did a great voice acting role and i think this is my first voice acting role i've seen him do, do, do that I've seen him do, um, and uh, I think Paul Dano is definitely an up-and-coming actor, and this is another great performance by him. Uh, I loved him as Riddler, and I loved him in The Fableman, Fablesman, and I love him in this. I thought he was great as the Hanush, so yeah. Another positive cinematography. The cinematography throughout the film, I think, is beautiful, uh, even though it is in an enclosed space. Uh, I thought cinematography was great throughout the movie. Um, the set designs with the co the costuming and set design I thought was really well done as well in that confined spaceship with Adam Sandler and Hanush. Um, and also the costumes are definitely space like spacesuits, so they did a good job with that. Um, another positive, the CGI for Hanush in space. I thought the CGI was actually really well done in here and you, <laughs> It actually kind of made the spider look real, honestly. It made Hanush look like it was actually real. 
and it was kind of freaky at the at first so yeah and then uh final positive in here the relationship between adam sandler and hanush um i thought that it took a while to get used to their relationship but when it gets a little bit to a little bit later in the movie you really start to connect with their relationship and you uh really like their competing dynamics so that's the good now we move on to the mixed uh the characters besides hanush uh even though i said adam sandler does a phenomenal job with his performance in here i don't know if i like the character uh, even though he does a phenomenal job acting in here. I don't know if I like the character that much. And then all the other characters, I wasn't that fan big a fan of. Um, uh, Adam Sandler's character's wife in here, I didn't really care for, to be honest with you. And all the other characters now and on Earth, I didn't care for. Um, and the only really character I cared about and thought was a good character was Hanush. So, that's it, really. And also, um, another mixed aspect is when they leave the ship. So when they go to Earth or whatever. I was kind of hoping they would focus on the Han Hanush and Adam Sandler's main character's relationship in the ship and not move down to Earth or whatever. They could have just mentioned, oh, he really wants to see his wife or whatever, but they kind of decide you know what guys let's go focus on the other people's lives as well which it and why it's a mixed aspect is because some aspects i think kind of work with the tone and then some aspects i was going yeah so it's 50 50 on that excuse me how'd you burp now moving on to the bad um the pacing um excuse me uh the pacing throughout the movie is didn't bother me a whole lot, but there were moments where I was going, yeah, the pacing's not that great, to be honest with you. Um, but most, it's going to be a lot rougher on other people, but um, the pacing was not, I still, still liked for some, most of the scenes, but there's a couple where I was going, eh, pacing's not that great. Um, and it really slows down. It's a very slow burn type of movie. So if you're into those, check this one out. If you're not into those, then uh, maybe pass on this one. Another bad, they have flashback sequences in here. I won't go too in depth because that would go into spoiler territory. But there's flashback sequences in here I didn't really care for, to be honest with you. The bad, uh, uh, I mean, another one, the plot is nothing like the plot synopsis I just read a few minutes ago. It is nothing like that whatsoever. And uh, there's that. And a uh, final bad, the ending. I didn't care for the ending that much. Um, There was a spot before the ending where I, if it would have ended there, I would have been even more mad. But the... But I'm glad they kind of ended it at the point afterwards, but still not a good ending. Uh, but otherwise, out of the Netflix, straight to Netflix projects or whatever, this is definitely one of the better, like, movies. So I would... It depends. Um, let's bring out the Toxic Mita. And I will give this... Uh, in between toxic goodness yeah. and toxic disappointment. It's somewhere in there. Um, and overall, I'll give this... I, I overall think I do like this movie. I do enjoy... I enjoy watching it. So I'd give it... A C+. I, I, I thought it was fine. I thought it was fine. I got some enjoyment out of it. So... If you're into weird sci-fi movies, I would definitely recommend this one. And if you're not, if you don't want two weird movies, probably skip this one out. All, and also, if this plot kind, if this, how I phrase this depend might depend on how you enjoy this, but it's kind of interstellar with Castaway, so... If that sounds intriguing to you, again, check this out. If that doesn't, uh, probably skip this one. 
Uh, but with that being said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this toxic movie review. Uh, but before we get to the actual ending of the video itself, guys, uh, do feel free to comment your thoughts on Spaceman down below. But with that being said, guys, I'll see y'all next one, everybody. Peace out.